Uh, welcome back to the second session of uh, the Artists in Conversation. Uh, as promised in the morning, uh, we're going to talk about godless artists and God in art. Um, it's, a, it's a strange time that we're living in. On one hand, we have uh, very, very strange uh, groups of people who insist that Muslims should not paint Allah. No, should, nobody should paint Allah. Uh, Hindus should not paint uh, anyone. Um, I, I don't know, Muslims should not paint Hindu gods. Uh, Christians should not exist. And uh, everybody should be filled with irony and coolness and basically no feelings at all. So in this strange, strange situation where the art market insists that you have to be cool and sophisticated and ironic and detached, and everybody outside of the art market insists that the gods are their private preserve, what do artists do? How, how, do they, how do they convey the private fervor with which we communicate to God? Do artists need to communicate with God? Uh, these are the, some of the questions that obviously keep me up at night. So now we'll just ask the artists what they think. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering about a, a world, the current world that we occupy yeah. and where everything seems a bit, a bit haywire. What, what if someone told you that, you know, you're Muslim, we don't want you to paint Christ anymore, or you're Muslim, you shouldn't paint gods at all, or what? what you know, in, in fact, there is actually a kind of a restriction, because I grew up seeing that restriction. That is why I ran away from my home at the age of 16, um, actually opting to become an artist. Uh, in my uh, family, we are, my father was not at all uh, very religious. He was an outgoing person. He was an army chap. So he was a very um, uh, generous about when I, I was doing painting and sketches and all. I lost him at the age of uh, six and a half, and my mother after six months. So by the time I was seven, I was an orphan. But we had an, an orphan in a royal family, and a very rich family with all conveniences, chauffeur driving to school, and you name it. But I was very restricted by my family, saying that you are not supposed to draw human beings or animals because it is restricted. And uh, if you do that, you may have to, uh, the last judgment day, you may have to give them uh, life. Can you do that? I said, I don't know whether I can give life to them, but I am trying to do what God has done. God is a creator. I am trying to imitate him. I don't think uh, God will ever oppose that. But in the end, things didn't turn out right, then I had to run away. Okay. It was a search for my creative freedom. I, I do have to ask you this because I'm very curious. So where do you stand on the Danish cartoon situation, where, you know, the Danish uh, cartoons of uh, an imagined Allah? No, but one thing I would very much uh, like to tell, by using religion as a tool, because there are <clears throat> thousands and thousands and, and uh, crowds of people who believe in religion. That is someone's re um, belief. By using that as a tool, as a responsible person, if you are a creative person, you are also a responsible person to society, you cannot hurt their sentiments. You should not use that to hurt their sentiments. But isn't that what the right-wing groups were saying to uh, Hussein, that you are hurting our sentiments? That is what they feel, that Hussein hurt their sentiments. But I tell, as an artist, I will never do anything to hurt sentiments of any people. Either religious people or non-religious people. Uh, so, so, sorry, you, uh, you wanted I to say something? Small part here. Yeah, like. Yes. Uh, as an artist, when you go to uh, your neighbor or wherever, I have to uh, answer one question always. Like, you know, when they, what are you? You are an artist. Okay. Tumara jo Hussein ne wo Saraswati nanga ke yana wo baat ganda hai. Wo nahi karna chahiye. Tumara Hussein. Ah, Tumara Hussein. It's because they belongs to us. Like. This is a religion, no? Artist is a religion. So I say, like, wo apka to Saraswati nahi tha, unne to alag hi Saraswati kiya tha. Nahi, but to naam kya ho rakha tha Saraswati? But, yaar, Saraswati kya, apka beti ka naam kya hai? Nisha. Uska jo, mera jo brother ka beti ka naam bhi Nisha, wo copy thodi tha. Wo alag hai, ye alag hai. Aisa hi, Hussain ka Saraswati alag hai. Ye apka alag hai. Why do you mix that both? So, 
Take no, it no, easy, no, like. No, wait. I, I, I don't. I don't get this. Basically, what what I, I'm I'm trying to get to is how yeah. do you how do you decide whether you're no, hurting no, someone's it, it, sentiments it, 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 or it not? Is, it is like this. I'm not scared about uh, doing what I feel like doing. If that was the reason, I wouldn't have left my home at all. First of all, but the thing is, knowingly, if I, I know because some sometimes if this, uh, this becomes a trend, and I think once. Uh, uh, Tehelka did an expose on um, uh, some god man uh, that a, 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 a young artist goes and asks him that I wanted to do this, I want to do these uh, paintings to hurt the sentiments of people, so you come and attack me, so I'll become famous. I think a true artist need not to become famous that way. A true artist has to do what he wants to do, but then he, uh, there is no point of uh, him doing something intentionally, I'm talking intentionally. Sure, sure. Intentionally uh, to hurt sentiments of So who decides any. the intentions? As in from the outside. Oh, sorry, I should quickly explain. The, the story that uh, Yusuf was referring to is a really big Im investigation uh, that Telka did uh, last year. We won an award for it. It's, uh, it's a really big, serious investigation, but it's also incredibly uh, an absurd story. It is about uh, one of our investigators who uh, approached the head of the Shiram Sene, Pramod Mutale, and uh, posed as an artist. He posed as an artist in, uh, you know, in search of a quick celebrity. So he said to him, I'm going to paint deliberately controversial paintings, and you please attack my exhibition. You know, you please riot my exhibition, and I'll pay you for it. Because we're operating on the assumption that the Shiram Sene was a, a hireable outfit, right? And as it turned out, it was a hireable outfit. So we have this fantastic investigation on camera where Pramod Mutalik, the head of the Shiram Sene, says, oh, so how many people do you want injured? And you know, where should we organize it? And I think you should have this exhibition in the center, central part of the city because you'll get more crowds. And don't worry, you know, that, that I mean, there is a certain instrumentality uh, and a desire to make money out of this hurting of sentiment. So how, how, do we, how do we decide what is the intention of the artist? Is it, is it spirituality or no, is it? Uh, if, if an artist is intentionally doing something, he wanted to show a certain, or point to a certain uh, disabilities in the society, then he will do it. He will have to do it. At one point in the 80s, I painted a series called the, um, it was all parda clad woman, uh, and um, um, most of those paintings are in Toronto with the collector now. And these were parda clad women, in, uh, individual parda clad women, three, four figures, uh, like that. And I titled it uh, The uh, Captives of Religion. And that made a lot of controversy at that point. But I explained it because I, I think uh, uh, this is one point where, um, you know, an artist has to come out and point out if there is something like that. But that should not, because there are women in our, our uh, society who wants to uh, uh, cover themselves up. And why do you want to hurt their sentiments? Sure. What, what do you think, Sanjay? In my case, actually, I must confess, I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer. I call God when I'm in a problem. Otherwise, I never... Believe. Isn't that the definition of a believer? <laughs> but I paint... Uh, Krishna and Kali's form, because I love the form. I, I don't know who, who created those forms. Maybe long, long back it was created. But this form attracts me. And one more reason behind, the color. The color of Krishna is black. And if you look at Kali, she's also black. But the fun is, Krishna represents love. And Kali, power. So the series I have started, very recent series, I call them Power to Love, a transformation. Right. And uh, one more thing came in my mind. You see, in my painting, the, the form of Krishna and Kali is uh, the traditional form. Always I keep traditional form of them. Along with that, I create a lot of you know, contemporary forms, textures, divisions. What I believe personally, this traditional form and the contemporary form, both can coexist. Otherwise, what happens?
Today, if you want to get a really true sense good stone carver, like in ancient temples who carved, you won't get. Where they are? We have killed them. Like whenever we switched over to any new thing, we never think of the old ones. Yes. Yeah, they can survive together. So that's also I try to convey. I'm nobody actually. I don't know how far it reacts to people. But I am trying my best to show the thing that whatever heritage we had, whatever, you know, the quality we had, we must not kill them in that way. You know, like a lot of craftsmanship has just gone away because they didn't have any patron. And in art, unless you have patron, like here we are talking, we are having lunch, we are having dinner, we are having a good time. So there's a sponsorship behind. So always art depends on patron. So that way, as a painter, if I you know, do this sort of paintings, maybe Maybe one or two people will react, and I'll be satisfied, frankly. I don't have any big dream. I love to paint it, and I paint it. That's it. Ma Madhviji, I wanted to ask you, one of your, um, I think a book about you, the critic who, who you know, wrote the book about you described you as secular. To you, what is, what is the meaning of the word secular, when someone describes you as secular? Okay. Indian ambassador. To Bhutan, we have seen all the monasteries. 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 We have तो पूरा जिस बड़ा कैदी जो होता है ना लोहे का भर के फिर वो शास्त्रांग प्रणाम करता था और ये एक नहीं तीस तीस पैंतीस जो होता है तो मतलब लेकिन अपना पाप धोने को ही ये जैसे इधर आ रहा है तो हमारे कई दोस्ती भगवान से दोस्ती करने की बात है ना हम मैं जो पेंट करते हूँ मेरे काली में एक शक्ति है दुर्गा में शक्ति है जब एक फॉर्म अच्छा लगा मतलब और फिर मैं हम लोग मॉस्को गए वहाँ आईकॉन देखा चर्च में सब उस पर इंस्पायर हुए फिर जेरूशलम गए वहाँ भी देखा तो एक हर एक चीज का अलग अलग चर्च में तो बहुत बड़ा हाई सीलिंग उसमें थोड़ा भगवान का जो ईशु भगवान का जो होता है मेरा और सारे एटमॉस्फेयर अलग बने मंदिर में घंटा होता है आरती का वो एक अलग लगता है और तुम तर्की में गए तो चारों तरफ बांग सुख जी तो एक अच्छा आवाज आता है मतलब हाँ अरे ईशु भगवान का जो घंटा है बजता है सब जगह पर तो हर एक मतलब भगवान के धर्म जो है बहुत अच्छा है मेरा फादर रिलीजन था आप बचपन से ही भगवान में मानते हैं रिलीजन में क्या क्या होता है भगवान ने फादर ने बोला कि धर्म के बारे में चर्चा मत करना तुम जो बिलीव करते हो उसको मानो उसने दोस्ती की बात बोला तो मैंने बोला सो सो वेयर डू यू स्टैंड ऑन दिस हुसैन कंट्रोवर्सी आप आपको क्या लगता है इज इज इट ओके शुड वी थिंक अबाउट आर इंटेंशंस बिफोर पेंटिंग अ गॉड मैं भगवान को मतलब कि अच्छा मतलब काली का अच्छा एक कौन देखा कब दुर्गा का भी देखा कब जीशु का अब एक मतलब बर्मा गए तो कितनी सारी बहुत के अलग-अलग इमेज देखे लगता है हाँ क्या सुंदर एटमॉस्फेयर मतलब तो ये सब एक इंस्पायर मतलब करने पेंट करने के लिए मानसून एक्चुअली आई बीन थिंकिंग अबाउट द सेवेंस सिंस यू सेड यू मेड अप योर ओन गॉड यू नो आई मीन द ट्रूथ इज दैट मोस्ट आर्टिस्ट नाउ एक्जिस्ट विद इन अ फैली कमर्शियल स्पेस इट्स नॉट लाइक व्हेन making any money or living, making a living out of it. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about this. Say you sold a painting, mm -hmm. say you sold a painting, and it's a painting of a god. Uh, actually, this question could be for any of you. Say you sold a painting, and it is a painting of god. And uh, you, visited, you visited your patron, mm -hmm. and you visited your patron, the buyer of your art. And suppose you saw that there is a mala around it, and he has started doing arti puja around your painting. What would your reaction be? I'd be very happy. You'd be happy? Yeah. Because my, I had one idea because I'm going to generate this idea within a year. Like because I wanted to create a new gods okay. and keep it in a, uh, under the uh, banyan tree and just want to watch like within the two, three years there will be a temple <laughs> and see that whole process. <laughs> yeah. Because this is my whole uh, desire like and I'm going to make it. And just watch people, like you know, they and then they develop a certain kind of myth 
around it. And I'm, I really uh, read uh, this booklet of every temple. When I go back to my uh, home uh, town, Mangalore, where like, they have a very, like, it's a very beautiful thing how they create a god. Like, you know, because of like, every, each and every small village has their own god. Yes. Which, uh, like, it's all associated with their own, like, you know, it's, it's a farmer community make one god. Like, and I don't, I really enjoy that whole process. Like, you know, they have their own god. It's a creative process at the same time. Somewhere they're fulfilling their uh, all this thing, like, it's a faith, end of the day. They are not uh, completely different from us. We are also, end of the day, it's a whole, uh, as uh, uh, he said, like this is very spiritual activity. When I enter into my studio, that is, as he uh, thought, I also feel the same, like and it's a temple. So where you suddenly detach from all other thing and find some kind of connection with your work. Like, and, and otherwise, who will decide? Like, suddenly I will throw away my canvas, three, four canvases. For others, it's feel, I will complete. But for me, there's something is not missing. I mean, something is there, something is not there, which I miss. So that is the way, like, it's not connected. That's why I'm throwing it away. Thank you all for being here, and uh, thank you, fascinating audience. Uh, <laughs> remember, God is watching, and so is Manjunath. So if there's a banyan tree that you suddenly want to worship, who knows? It might be one of Manjunath's experiments. Thank you all.